yeah, first of all, you have great taste in music. So oh, I, I, cool. I copy the best. You certainly do. And how do you get permission? How do you get permission to get? Oh, you don't. I, I don't. <laughs> really, really, and how's that? How's that working out for you? Well, okay. In the case of this land is mine, it's pretty clear cut fair use because the song, the the film is parody. Like I said, right. you know, it it's literally a parody of those lyrics, and you know, that's fair use. Okay, okay. Uh, I I actually think most of my uses are fair use. They're transformative, but a lot of uses are not as clear cut as parody. So that's actually a really interesting issue with the film and how is this film going to be released and how is it going to be shown? Because there is no, no way I am going to ask for permission to use this music, particularly music that entered my head as a child, uh, which I did not consent to and I had no control over it. Of course, nobody has any control over what goes into your head, right? Like you go out in the world and music is playing, it goes into your head. Uh, and yet once it's there, that part of your head that it occupies belongs to a corporation. And I'm just done asking corporations for permission to use what's in my head, which they put there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you basically solved the problem by saying to hell with it, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this no matter what. And you're going to iron out whatever difficulties there are with that as you move along. That's what yeah, it looks well, like. It's an illegal film. I mean, in the case of Sita Sings the Blues, I made Sita Sings the Blues when I was, I was certainly questioning copyright, but I didn't really see it as a completely bankrupt institution. So when that film was done, I cleared all the rights, which was an incredibly difficult process and required hiring intermediaries because the rights holders don't talk to normal people. So if you do make a film and you don't have permission to use the music in it, you can't simply ask for permission. They won't talk to you. So you have to pay lawyers and intermediaries just for them to even listen to you to tell you how much money they're demanding, which is inevitably an absurd amount that you can't afford. But I ended up spending a mere $70,000 to make Sita Sings the Blues legal to show for free and legal to share for free. Uh, if I you know, wanted some other model, it would have been more than that. Right. $70,000 <laughs> just to be able to give it away. 